Hi there. Wise old sage here. Today let me show you some ways to spot scams on the internet. Especially if you are into crypto, there are a lot of scammers targeting crypto projects and investors nowadays. So please beware. I would highly encourage everyone to think twice before reaching for their credit card if they are told to purchase something on such projects. The sheer number of fake mobile crypto apps around is just amazing. And we have plenty in the social media platforms as well. If you are not that familiar with crypto or are just stepping into crypto, I would suggest you to stick with the more well-known platforms first. You should first gain some experience and have seen and understood how these scams work before you go into the smaller projects. And even then, please be careful. One of the easiest way to spot scams or at least very mindful is that if the project is offering something which is unrealistic in return, then it probably is a scam. I have seen scams offering USDT or even fiat currencies to users who join their platform. Yes, it is normal for projects to offer their own native cryptocurrencies as reward for users' interactions, but it is highly unlikely that they can offer fiat currencies to their users. The projects still need to make money somehow. If they are paying their users money, where would that money come from? This is one of the oldest email scams around, but somehow they transition from emails to social media. And surprisingly, it still works. Oldest trick in the book. My recent experience with a scam calling themselves green earners tried to trick their users into paying for withdrawals. They use a telegram bot and users can mint hourly for a certain fiat currency and even invite others to the platform for extra bonus. So after a few weeks of mining, they claim that in order to withdraw the fiat currency they have supposedly earned, their users will need to pay an agent to do the transfer. And we are talking about fiat currency here. Some people might fall for the trick as they might have been minting for some time and do not want to lose all their effort. I think they might not only lose all the effort, they will probably lose all the money that they had sent. This is a pretty easy one to spot. Money do not grow on trees. And if it did, probably will not last long. So if a project claim that they will give you like 500% return on your investment, you should be wary. Although crypto projects might be able to mint their own native cryptocurrency, but realistically speaking if they are able to give you 500% return for a period of time, then won't the price of that cryptocurrency tumble because there will be too many of them? I mean seriously, these projects will not last long. If you have invested in them, you might want to consider turning them in for the profit as soon as possible. There are even some projects that claim to have guaranteed amazing returns. I don't know about you, but if someone can guarantee something in such a volatile market like the crypto sphere, he or she probably won't be trying to sell you their own crypto project. Another way to spot a scam is to see whether these projects have similar looking websites or web design, or even similar telegram group logos or something, and the design of their apps. These usually indicates the people behind these projects are involved in quick redesign of their websites or app in order to pump out more scams. Most legit platforms will only usually have their core team in one project. If their teams are involved in numerous projects, how trustworthy can they be? And how well can they focus their energy on so many projects at the same time? For me if I find apps that look or feel very much in other apps, I will usually not use them. You should not as well. I am not talking about perfection here. There is no such thing. But if a website or the app looks very incomplete, had plenty of errors or that the design is poor, I will give it a miss. Again, I am not talking about perfection here. However at least some effort should be made to get the basics up and running. That is why when I review mobile crypto mining apps, I usually start at their website and see how well their site has been designed. I try to avoid projects that do not have a functioning website and of course if their website and app is unique, surely it will give me more confidence about the project. Never and I repeat, never click on random links on forums or social media platforms, especially if they are from unknown sources. There are just so many scammers on these platforms, especially if you're going through crypto-related groups. Seems like they understand that many of those interested in crypto are more likely to fall for their scams than others. I guess we are maybe a little more greedy than the average Joe. If you find someone too pushy or selling something a bit too hard, this is a red flag. Yes, the main idea of creating social media or creating websites is to promote something. However, most projects will not be that pushy. In most cases, it should be the users contacting the project's members instead of them contacting you. That is why in most Telegram groups, 
they will tell you that their admin will never contact you first. I have came across a supposedly helpful support staff who told me that he or she can help me with my issues and started to proceed to show me instructions to claim someone. And even after I politely declined his or her offer, the scammer was quite persistent and kept telling me how much loss I would make if I didn't do the steps. Let's be honest, most real support staff will not usually be that helpful, right? Correct me if I am wrong. And yes, please be careful when someone tells you to let them have access to your crypto wallet or to your account. They are usually up to no good. Of course this list is not exhaustive. There are tons of crypto scams on the internet. I would encourage investors to stick with the bigger and more well-known projects. These are usually the safest. And you should always stop and think through before making any rash decision. This is the end of the video. Please like and subscribe. I make videos on cryptos and trading. Wise old sage signing off. Take care.